Good evening, everybody. Thanks for checking into the KBTX weather team on Facebook and on Twitter. Still have some rain chances here for us, even though we finished the day on a quiet note. A couple of showers now anywhere from northern Brazos County into parts of Leon County as well, right along the Navasota River. And then another one trying to get going a little bit closer to Waller. But that's about it in our area. There is plenty of thunderstorm action, though, just outside, anywhere from up towards the DFW area, now just to the uh, in Houston proper and to the south and west as well, and even some developing in the hill country as well. So we've got lots of rain across the area, still plenty of energy in the atmosphere to spark some showers and thunderstorms, and some of that could come as early as later tonight. I think for the next few hours, things will remain quiet here in the Brazos Valley, and the pinpoint forecast model wants to keep it that way through most of the night and then even into parts of Friday as well. That would be optimal, though we're not going to let our guard down just yet as far as rain chances go. We're going to keep that in the forecast through tonight. And then especially as we go into Friday afternoon and into our portions of our Saturday morning, maybe even carrying on into midday as well. So scattered showers and thunderstorms likely the next couple of days. How much additional rainfall could we get? It could be anywhere from one to two inches, and I think plus. The localized amounts could be even more than that. Doesn't look like too many of us will see a whole lot more than that, though. So a little bit of good news in that department. It looks like heavy rainfall totals will set up mainly to our west. But it is something that we will continue to watch very, very closely. Number one, because we could see some isolated storms drop a lot more than that. We're in excess of two inches in a couple of hours. And we do uh, still have very saturated grounds across our area. So flash flood watch is still in effect until 7 p.m. this evening. A quick look outside shows a couple of those isolated showers that we mentioned a little bit earlier. And again, as we go in through the rest of this evening, just a small chance for a shower or thunderstorm through the evening, and then the overnight hours rain chances get knocked up just a little bit. As we start our Friday, about a 50% shot of finding a shower or thunderstorm in around your area. That flooding potential, of course, will continue, and it looks like our best rain chances are setting up through the afternoon and evening on Friday and into at least midday of Saturday before things start to thin out a little bit, especially by Sunday afternoon and evening. And as we go into next week, we finally get a stretch of a few dry days. Looks like it might carry on all the way through next week.